Hello everyone, welcome to Ambience and Design. Um, in this video, I'm going to be talking about the first project within Architecture 202. I hope you guys enjoy the video. This project spans through the period of two weeks. It is a warm-up assignment to welcome students into the new semesters. Now, the difference between 202 and 201 is the approach. While 201 approach fluctuates between scales, 202 main focus is the detail and through it, students create the designs. For this project, students had to create a number of artifacts and through those artifacts, create a sculpture that would represent the essence of detail. For this project, my partner and I agreed that the main idea that drives our designs was gravity. For the first artifact, I wanted to have a series of columns on the verge of falling only to be held by a system of strings. I also wanted to try with different types of material as well as different connections for the columns. I decided to go with concrete as the materiality suggests the weight and when those seemingly stable columns fall, the feeling of an ease starts to come in and through that feeling, the sense of gravity heightens. For the second artifact, my partner wanted to have a sense of rhythm with the falling object. To obtain this, we cast a horizontal concrete block as a weight. Then we cut out a series of 1 inch wind cubes and attach them with eye hooks. And we used a fishing string to hook them on and connect them to the concrete block. The third artifact is about the idea of the wood cubes sinking through the block of concrete. I wanted to further emphasize the idea of gravity so I decided to make a support structure to hang the concrete cube. I also experimented with different designs and ideas. Uh, we started out with the mold for the concrete cube, then we made and inserted the smaller cubes that would make the void for the wood cubes when we pour the concrete. For the wooden cubes, we just went down to the wood workshop to find some usable scrap woods and cut them up. Uh, we bought 2x4s and made a supported structure. Then it's just a matter of assembling the components. For the final sculpture, for some reason I thought about the image of the coyote and the roadrunner. There's a scene where the coyote would place a black circle on the road hoping that the roadrunner would fall into it 
but um, on the contrary, the Roadrunner would pick it up and somehow trick the Coyote to fall into it instead. It seems like an arbitrary detail and somehow it doesn't relate to what I'm doing, but uh, it, it does in a way. So far, um, all the artifacts that my partner and I created uh, are stationary. So what if I could make something that is portable yet still convey the initial idea, which is gravity? So I printed out a 3x3 three three feet uh, hole in the ground. I uh, put this, I found like this hole on, on Google and then I um, took a picture of the ground at King Pavilion and then I photoshopped it so it appeared that, you know, it has the same uh, somewhat characteristics. And I cut out the cubes that are in angles and placed them right on top of the sheet. So it gives a sense that they are in motion. They, they are falling through the, the hole. Of course, we had to present our um, sculptures and artifacts in the final review for that project. So after two and a half weeks, uh, we had like a small uh, review and there were a lot of good feedbacks um, in terms of execution. Could have been better, but overall the idea is there and there is uh, potential basically. So I enjoy this project a lot. And that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoy uh, what um, my partner and I did in this video. Like, comment, and subscribe for more architecture content from Iowa State University. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Thank you for watching.